Hello my fellow gamers, UltraGamer64 here, and today I have an all new Let's Play for you guys. It is going to be Plants vs. Zombies. This is going to be the first level, first part, first everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this new Let's Play, and if you could, please leave a comment down in the description to tell me if you like it or not. So on the first level are just plain old everyday zombies, and we get one strip of grass. This new plant is called the Pea Shooter. It is the very first plant you start out with. It shoots one pea, I believe, every two seconds at the zombie. So, eventually, it will kill the zombie, of course. Because all zombies have to die. So, we begin the game now, and they just begin wailing away at the zombie, knocking his arm off, and then his head, and then he dies. So, this is pretty much the first level. Just killing zombies as they come, one at a time. Alright, and it's already the final wave, which it sends two zombies. Very, very terrifying. But, nothing... Very, very easy to take care of. And we get a new plant, the Sunflower. The Sunflower costs 50 sun, and the Peace Shooter costs 100 sun. And it will turn out that the Sunflower is a very, very vital survival item when you're in a zombie apocalypse, since it gives you a sun every few seconds. And of course, sun powers your entire arsenal of plants. So as we begin this level, we begin setting up our sunflowers in a type of checkered pattern along with the pea shooters. As you can see, the sun recharges very quickly so we can get these guys pumped out very fast and be very efficient with our attack and defense. So as you can see, the first wave of zombies has started. It started in the middle column. Now, there are three rows, as you can see. So that means triple the zombies. And as heads start flying and arms start rolling, we begin the attack as they begin the attack. Well, no, I guess we would be on the defense. Anyway, I am going to set up my plants in a type of checkered pattern just to make sure we get maximum efficiency out of the attack. And if you want, you can even set up two pea shooters in all the rows to give you even more defense. Zombies don't stand a chance against little plants for whatever reason. But nonetheless, we will not die from zombies. All right, and already it is the final wave. As we can as you can see, there's a new zombie. He is carrying a flag which signals a mighty attack, but as you can see, it's not so mighty as we destroy the small army that he brings in a few seconds. And just like that, they are all dead, and we get a new plant, the cherry bomb, which costs 150 sun and recharges slowly. This guy is a long range attack, which I will show off later when the Conehead Zombie appears. And speaking of the Conehead Zombie, we have a new zombie. A zombie that was smart enough, somehow, to put a cone on his head for protection. Works perfectly every time. Except if you have two pea shooters, which will kill him. So as you can see, we are going with the same checkerboard type of design defense here with some flowers and pea shooters but as you guys will see in a little bit 
the cherry bomb actually does not stay and shoot anything. It will actually blow up in an immediate area and destroy any zombie that is near. So this is good for big groups of zombies, for the most part, if you just want to blow them away. As you can see, same attack strategy as last time, same defense strategy, whatever you want to call it. But, same strategy as last time, just set up a checkerboard, and it is perfectly fine. We defend all day, when the zombies die. And here's our first Conehead Zombie appearing for the very first time. So we're gonna save up some sum for that Cherry Bomb and blow him. That didn't sound right. It sounded very wrong, I apologize. And as the last few zombies drop, the onslaught will begin, and the very, 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 very small army will appear. The red flag with the brain represents a huge army. But as you can see, they will all die from a cherry bomb. They stand no chance. Alright guys, well that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe. And I will see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.